a lot of early minutes for Michael Mulder, so he's doing a practice there. Yeah, I wanted to give him a chance, um, see how he would defend and rebound, and, and then make some shots for us. Um, you know, I, I, I think that if you know he has that confidence that he can go in and make a jump shot for us, it's it's going to help our team. Kyle, what did you think about the way Isaiah was leading the team early on? He was marking at guys. He was active from just about every. Yeah, play. the, the, the only the only thing is he he was really good. The only thing is. Um, we had uh, De'Aaron off the ball to start the game. You can't do that. He's maybe the best on-ball defender on our team, maybe one of the best in the country. Isaiah is the overall best defensive guard, rebounder. He can play on the ball, but he's just as good off. You saw he got two or three steals off the ball, especially with De'Aaron on the ball. Um, but, no, he's, um, he's doing good. We... Uh, you know, we get a ways to go, and, and um, you know, I, I got to go back and watch this tape because you're going to ask me some questions, and I want to just tell you until I can see the tape and really look at it. I like that we had post presence. We forced it the last couple of days in practice, and we put in some things that just make us throw the ball to the post. I thought Bam was outstanding. Um, you know, he's getting closer and closer. Um, uh, I thought Wendy played really hard. Um, you know. Rebounding and how's Isaiah help us? I think he'll be fine. Yeah, you know, he just I think he saw the score. We were up thirty and he just said, you know what, I'm gonna step off the gas and I let the leak out the last six, seven minutes. I just said I'm not gonna put you in up thirty eight. Sean, you talked previously about the importance of uh, the players establishing ownership of the team. And how realistic is that this early in the season? I mean what percent they're, it's not realistic right now, especially when you're playing five freshmen. And, and they're, the five freshmen, four of them are getting a lot of minutes. Um, and then the sophomore you're playing is 18. He's the youngest sophomore in the country, and it's uh, uh, Isaac. So it's hard, but that's where we've got to be by the time February hits, that they understand what we're looking to do. They have a better idea. We're, our discipline defensively is not what it needs to be. In other words, there's a pick and roll. Well, we were never going under pick and rolls. We did today. We're not running gaps. Very rarely are we going to run a gap. We did today. Um, we took shots that we never work on, like invented shots. That's just lack of discipline. And that's what young guys, uh, the normal process you go through with young guys, they just don't have the discipline to play every possession to be graded. In other words, you look at a possession, everything that was done right. Whether they score or not, it's not that. Did we do the whole possession till they shot? Did we rebound? Did we block out all of it? Did we finish the possession? I would say, no, not on this team right now. We're not able to go seven perfect possessions. Don't worry if they score. Did we play it the right way? We're not disciplined enough right now. Question. You talked before about Michael being a better on defense to get more minutes. How is he doing? He did fine. He had four rebounds in the minutes he had in the first half. Um, he still he still puts his body up on people. He still gets turned down and he'll get beat on baseline at times. But you know, like I said, it, it you know because he he made a big strike today. He made a shot or two. Then he missed two shots. Now normally we've all watched. He'd never go make another shot till maybe the next game. He made one came off of side screen and he made a shot. That was a big step for him. In other words, I can't, I've got to feel comfortable and he's got to feel comfortable. If I miss a shot, you can lead me in the game. I'm going to make the next one, if you know what I'm saying. It can't be, okay, he missed two, he's done. Might as well take him out, stick a fork in him. He today made that shot. It was a big, big step for him. And I told him this week I was going to give him an opportunity because he's been here now a year and couple months and he's really not he's the one guy that hasn't been on that court to give a chance to go play and the guys in front of him have always been better than him but now I right, let him get that chance to play and that's why we did it John, uh, John Sasha had it up here in front Sasha had a nice little stretch there what, what are you seeing from from him right now well he made some shots that were saying those are the shots you should take and the one he hesitated 
we walked right out of the timeout. I said, if it's thrown back to you and you're open, shoot it. And if you're not open, then pass it in the post. He was open, he looked to pass, and then he went to shoot and missed. But again, rebound and defend. Come up with balls. You know, be disciplined defensively. Um, we're not disciplined this way. If you're, whatever you're going to do as a big man in the pick and roll, you got to yell it three times. That's our rule. The reason is, to get it out three times, you got to yell it early. If we're going to switch, 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 three times. You can't say, switch, as it's happening, because we can't react. That's discipline. Sasha, even Bam, they're all learning that. Um, but like I said, we're we're one of those teams. We 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 end up with uh, we end up with 11, 11 turnovers. A young team. We're playing fast. Um, you know, and, and three of those were when the last minute and a half. Or three right there. Bam, bam, bam. So, what do you think of? Bam's offensive positioning. Where he's great. Shot, he's making. He's just. He's getting better every day. Making his free throws. He's. You know. He's rebounding in traffic. He's coming up with balls. He's still got a ways to go, but he's getting better. Um, and and again for Duquesne, we came out of the gate. We were pretty aggressive defensively, and we were able to throw the ball. Something we haven't done so far. We did to them. We we really worked on throwing that ball inside. So. Um, and they're playing with the young guys. You know, Jimmy's, he's, he was starting two freshmen. He, he put, and, and probably rightfully so in this building, he, he went with his senior instead of the, uh, the freshman today. John, how good a job is the Aaron doing with the pace you want this game to fly? He's doing good. I think he's doing good. He's uh, six assists, one turn. He had seven uh, rebounds, and I thought he was just okay today. Think about that. 16. How about he misses three free throws? I told him, go back to the other hairdo. I don't know what you did. <laughs> Just go back to the other. You know, so here's a kid that, uh, you know, we're counting on a lot of stuff from him. Um, I think he's got to get more consistent shooting the ball. Um, you know, he is, uh, in my mind, especially when he pulls up from 15 feet, he just doesn't miss that. He's missing them lately. And I, you know, these guys were four games in, and you got to understand, it's like their high school season. They never work like this. Look, it's not just the games. Every practice, they're going at each other. They've never done that before. They were by far the best high school player on their team. They practiced when they felt like it. Doesn't mean they weren't, didn't work, but they practiced against the guy that couldn't guard them. So if they really felt like now they're in this gym, and you're going against another guy that can play. And it's every day. And we're not letting up as a staff. And um, you know, we just we gotta be, we gotta get more consistency, more discipline. And I'm just saying it's a process that's gonna take time. John, coming off of a win against Michigan State, what were you looking for for the young guys before the freshmen and where do you feel like they kind of made games? Today? Well, one thing I was anxious to see was how would we play? Would there be a letdown? And then I'd know that we were going to have young guys. I thought we played, and I think Isaiah kind of dragged them in the first half. Um, I also, when Malik got a second foul, it's a great lesson. I didn't care what the score was. If this was a five or six point game, you were not getting back in, and so I just didn't put him back in. More of a lesson than anything else, because it could have played him because of the score. But it's just to let them know you can't get a dumb foul. You can't run a gap and then push up on a guy. Guy drives baseline. We're forcing everything to the middle. How do you how do you go when he drives? You got to give him ground. So you know some of that stuff happened. But I thought we played hard, um, and uh, we're still learning about each other. Last one up front. How you tied Coach Hall's rough wins record tonight? What does that mean to you? His what record? wins for this building, 122. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the only the thing here is Final Four is the national titles. It's not league championships. It's none of that. It's not wins in the building. It's not wins on the road. It's not wins in neutral. It's not it's Final Four is the national titles. And 
that's what we chase here. So that's all nice. Um, and I would say this. Let me clarify that. Every coach that's been here has won big at home. That means we've got the greatest fan base. That building, you know, how, what's in, like, since they've been here, what is it? How many, how many percentage? 90? Close to, yes. Did it matter who was coaching here? I just lasted longer than the other dudes. How about that? This building is, it's a hard place to, to win if you're an opponent, and the fans make it that way. I walked in today, 9 o'clock on a Sunday night. We were missing some students, but other than that, the place was packed. Are you kidding me? I mean, that's not, please tell me there's not many people that stayed for this radio show at 12. They're out there. Uh, don't tell me they got balls. They got balls? Hooks do. Even more. <laughs> Go home, folks. It's really late. Our players are actually going to get out here, so I know that.